Hi, my name is Zora Verona and welcome to my home and studio in the beautiful Yarra Valley, the ancestral lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. I pay my respects to their elders, past and present, and I acknowledge their continuing culture, their customs, creativity and wisdom, and their teachings that have nurtured this land for so long. I'm an emerging artist, um, exploring the complexity of nest forms as sculptures, honouring birds as artists and architect. And I'm fascinated by birds and what they do with only their beak and their breast and their claw. So in my work, I examine the tenacity, determination and skill and the sheer ingenuity that must be required by birds to craft and curate their amazing nests. My nest sculpture is titled With What Is Left and it's been selected as a finalist in the 2022 Environmental Art and Design Prize. As a strong motivation for my art is to raise awareness of the plight of our bird species and how our choices have historically pushed them closer to the edge of extinction. It's my hope that this sculpture will prompt reflection and encourage a collective push towards positive environmental action instead. My sculpture is informed by a historical nest collection and it's held by the Western Foundation of Vertebrate Zoology, Bird Museum and Research Centre in California. And although the nest that informed my sculpture was made by a North American bird, the Northern Oriole, the use of plastics in nest building is also of great concern here in Australia too. A recent study found that out of 900 nests in Australian museum collections, one out of every three contained human debris, including plastics, such as the ones that I've used. So all the plastics from my sculpture were foraged far too easily from the burden of waste created by keeping just a small flock of livestock here at home. And I'm acutely aware of the plastic waste left behind from the binding cords of hay bales, uh, net netting on hay rounds and chaff bags. The clearing of land for agriculture can leave little habitat for birds, yet endless amounts of plastic. So they build their nests with what is left. And birds show amazing resilience and adaptability, and through it all, they keep making nests of exquisite beauty. If they can change in response to us, surely humankind can find ways to change for them, to keep the world beautiful and safe for us both. With what is left, the nest of the Northern Oriole is just one in a series of my sculptures documenting human debris to be found in nests. And you can view more in this series in Melbourne in October at the City Library in conjunction with Craft Contemporary 2022 and National Bird Week. Yet for now, please embrace and be moved to reflection on the amazing entries of all the artists in the Environmental Art and Design Prize 2022 in the Northern Beaches. Do visit not only Manly Art Gallery and Museum, but also Curl Curl Creative Space and Mona Pop-Up Gallery too.